Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a Bobcat T190 track skid steer. The serial number of this machine, the full serial number, is 51931338. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Um, as far as manufacturers go, uh, Bobcat's ubiquitous out there in terms of, uh, you know, skid steers. I mean, they're synonymous with uh, skid steers. Uh, our factor ranked number one in the sale of uh, skid steer products. So, a new machine like this would run you about eighty-five, ninety thousand um, dollars the horsepower on this machine, it's a 66 horsepower engine. Uh, you can say it's a Kubota engine. The model is a V2003TE. Uh, this machine currently has 3,429 hours. Uh, the widest point is actually that bucket right there, but we don't know what bucket we're going to keep with this machine that bucket is six foot one inches but the track width itself on the machine is uh, the widest point is uh, the tracks which are five foot six inches this machine is comparable to like a cat uh, Komatsu CK 30 or maybe a cat 289 or maybe a uh, Takuchi TL 250 as far as options go you've got auxiliary hydraulics here you got your regular hydraulics and then you got high flow hydraulics um, this machine is mechanically sound there's two leak uh, two speeds on it uh, transmission runs with no problem top speed on this machine is 7.5 miles an hour the undercarriage is about 65 70 percent uh, you can see it's got my, uh, rubber tracks on it as far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like most of the machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because we don't work in a corrosive or live in a corrosive environment. We're far enough from the ocean and 300 miles, uh, or 300 miles from the ocean, far enough south that we don't deal with any kind of salt or any kind of corrosive environment. So, um, and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics go out and thoroughly inspect it. And then uh, if, if they say it's everything's good on it, then I go out and I inspect it. Um, and if everything's good there, then we write a check. The hydraulics on this machine are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work equipment. and the bushings are relatively tight you can see like I say I'm not sure what bucket we're gonna wind up with but these teeth right there are about 50% uh, that bucket is six foot one inches wide it's probably about a three-quarter yard bucket um, as far as these uh, auxiliary hydraulics go your standard hydraulics have got 17 uh, gallons per minute and the high flow has got 26 uh, the hinge pin height on this uh, machine, like if you were dumping into a dumpster, is 10 foot. The breakout force is 7,300 pounds. Um, the static tip load of this machine is 7,300 pounds, which simply stated the machine will actually tip forward before the hydraulics give out. The hydraulics are so powerful. The rated operating capacity is 1,900 pounds, but the operating capacity of 50% of sti uh, static tip load is uh, 3,642. Uh, as far as things that are wrong with the machine, uh, these guys elected to uh, take out the lights, the guys that we bought it from. Uh, they were a landscape contractor and didn't have any use for the lights. They kept the, their employees kept knocking them out. Um, I think that's about it that's wrong with it. Can you think of anything else, Tank? No. So, I guess we're going to run it in the next clip. Run. So this
this is the inside of the cab here. So here's your gauges. Uh, there's your lights, all your lights work. There your hour meter reads 34, 29. There's your controls. There's your seat. Your seat's in pretty good condition. It's coming apart right there, but that's about it. I forgot to mention is that because of this this isn't joystick control and because of that there's uh it's all mechanical linking which is uh the most reliable uh, uh, uh form of hydraulics out there for uh skid steers it's it's tried and true and it's proven so this is all mechanical linkage 